Hi there, fellow tech enthusiasts. Jen here, your guide to all things cool and creative in the world of AI image generation. Today we're on a bit of a tech treasure hunt, exploring the lost tools of mid-journey. These are the nifty features from the alpha version of the website that have vanished in the latest release. Not everyone got to play with the alpha version, so join me and explore these exclusive features before they vanish without a trace. At first glance, the alpha website is not that dissimilar from the old website, but let's dig into what's new and different, especially around these lost tools. So what did the alpha website have that the new website doesn't? Well, the most obvious thing is image generation. Yes, you can create images on the Alpha website. Tucked away under this nifty paintbrush icon, here's where things get interesting. We've got the usual setup, a message bar and an Imagine button. Super simple to use. Type in your prompt and hit Imagine and watch the magic happen. Midjourney turns out four images, kind of like our familiar Discord setup. A heads up though, we're rolling in fast mode here. There's no turbo mode in alpha. Not all the new bells and whistles have made their way to alpha, but it still does a pretty solid job. You've got basic variations and upscales rather than the newest tools. But there's more. You've got this shuffle feature for prompts. It's like rolling the dice for creative ideas. And if you're into shortcuts, control P is your friend here. This isn't something we see in Discord. Let's spice things up a bit with fantastical flamingos. Hit imagine and boom, you've got fantastical flamingos. This random prompt generator is something you won't find on Discord, so it's a neat little alpha exclusive. Jumping back to our galactic planet prompt, the transform prompt feature is pretty slick. You feed it a basic prompt and it adds these cool, intricate details, elevating your prompt game. Got a thing for flamingos? Let's take one of these images and play around with it a bit. This is where you can flex your image prompting muscles. Add this image to the prompt and click Morph. Morphing is what Alpha calls blend mode. It merges your image and your prompt. And yes, it sure can take more than one image and morph them together. Loading images to use as image prompts is a breeze too. Just drag and drop. Or open an image and with just a click, you're set to morph them into something wild. And the best part is that all these images stay here in a collection. So you can use them again and again. In Discord, it's just, oh, it's just easier to re-upload the image if you want to use it again. And here's the Describe tool too, but with a twist. You can guide the Describe tool. You can't do that in Discord. Of course, you can use parameters on your prompt. There's even a settings area where you can tweak to your heart's content. It's like having a personal toolkit for your creative journey, and you can save these as recipes. It's a bit like the option sets in Discord. So try out the Alpha website and let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't worry, all the images you make in the Alpha website show up in your mid-journey gallery. Midjourney isn't adding features or maintaining the alpha site, so it's only a matter of time before this disappears. 
Here's hoping that some of these image generation tools are not lost to us forever, and they show up eventually on the main Midjourney website. Until then, keep creating. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together. <laughs>